Fine example of trance music. Trance music is a kind of dance music which thousands of young people across Germany and throughout Europe are quite passionate about. It's a musical movement which is gaining strength. This is the future. the record and so we have made some really strange house parties you know with with tapes what we had record on radio stations and whatever you know and so it was a normal thing the wall came so down the wall breaks down and everybody could go on the record stores and buy some stuff and that's why the scene was bigger and bigger than you know It's midnight in Europe. Yeah, the, the fact was that, that we uh, find uh, some places to go, that completely illegal. Yeah, and we have uh, some bunker parties and we have some uh, parties in uh, uh, e-work. Yeah, and some uh, places with no power with no light and all that yeah we, we just put in our own generators and parties there yeah? it was excellent yeah and from that uh, we built up uh, everything and now we have uh, uh, many places in the east and they're much better than, than the west because uh, in the west berlin we have only uh, only the regular club and they're boring because all the normal people go and uh, in the west uh, no, 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 yeah, the normal people, like the, the workaholics and all that, yeah. And uh, in the Eastern Club, uh, more like the people uh, like me, the freaks. 
Yeah, it was Wolle uh, Neugebauer. He did this techno seed parties with uh, like 2,000 uh, people. It was 90. 1990, yeah. And uh, it was like a party with Western and Eastern people. And it was the first time that uh, people danced together on, uh, on the dance floor, yeah? On a party. That was uh, a good thing about Wolle uh, Neugebauer. No, no, I never played there. I, I wasn't hard enough. You went hard enough? No. They wanted hard techno. Yeah, yeah, techno. Hard techno. I was too, too spacey. And you're still playing the spaces now? Yeah? Of course, I like the spaces. Yeah. first started MFS we had this track by Paul Browse and John Tignac under it, the name of Effective Force called Diamond Bullet and when I heard it I realised that wasn't techno or it wasn't really a dance record even it was a film soundtrack kind of for everyday use and from that moment it kind of I knew it was a timeless classic piece of music and that was the had something, something spoke to me in that, in, from that track. Horror has a face, and you must make a friend of horror. Horror and moral terror are your friends. It was just atmosphere. It, was, it wasn't any particular sound or particular sequence, really. It was the way the sequences and sounds fit together, I mean, which gave a kind of hypnotic, trance-like. When I say trance, I mean, we had difficulty at the beginning, but how do we call this kind of music? It's, it's, it's very repetitive, some of the sequences. It's, some of it's fast, some of it's not so fast, but it all has was one a connecting element which is like it, it's a kind of modern day trance music you know, it, it invokes a kind of like tr if you're on the dance floor listen to it dancing is a form of uh, expression of like sexual expression and so, and so uh, you know if you move your body I, fi I find that techno is very static and you only move certain parts of your body with very hardcore techno and with trance music as there's lots more elements in there lots more rhythms a lot more a lot more little bits there where you move various other parts of your body that you come into this trance-like state and you see people on the dance floors you know waving their arms and shutting their eyes and dancing not because of because of the rhythms reaching each individual cell of the body you know and, and in rhythmic kind of like tribal trance music from whether it's from like uh, Jamaica or, or, or where, from that Asia of, or, or from Australia, it all has this kind of like these rhythms which make you move various parts of your body. You know, you have a kind of movement in there, and 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 that's what it evolved for me. Whoever's making trance music, they, they must uh, transpose their feeling into the track. I suppose so. I mean, when I do a track, if I'm really happy, obviously the track is going to be more happy when than than when I'm tired or you know if if I'm if I'm sad or something, and it's true, if I'm sad, I'll, I'll suppose I'll transpose that to my track and do something fairly dark and sad and whatever. I suppose a lot of people do it. I mean, like, well, when you listen to uh, the Paul Van Dyk mix of Love Stimulation, apparently he, he was fairly sad when he did the track, and I mean, you can really feel it. The track is so beautiful, it's gorgeous, but it's sad, it's so sad. And I, I suppose, you know, it, it just put all his feelings into that track. I tried to put something from me inside, that's why the people asked me to do a remix. And especially last time it was a bit sad for me, and so the last remix are a bit sad. It's house music when you have a heavy vocal, lots of words, lyrics and stuff. People are always trying to, trying to think, you know, what's the singing about? 
Um, and then certain countries maybe won't listen to it because it's in English, you know. Or if it was in Germany, it would no get any, nowhere outside of Germany. So here you have this, this kind of like trans global music. It leaps in, over boundaries, it goes over wide expanses of land. I have to know uh, what's, what you can do with sound to, to a human body. Yeah? Uh, this is a, a long way of studying the effect to the brain and to the, uh, to the human body, to all the chakras and all that. Yeah? It's very important yeah, that you know what kind of sound is doing what to your body and to your mind and to your soul. Yeah? It's very important. Uh, it's basically the best music to get off because it's uh, giving so much energy uh, it really uh, beats, beats your body away into another space. Yeah. experience when I was playing live is that the people really appreciate you bringing the music live on stage. They uh, always hang around me and uh, look what I'm doing because they haven't seen it uh, this uh, never before. in playing live is really that I have can produce much more power actually than from a DAT or from a record because uh, uh, I can boost the bass drum whenever I want so I try to to get one with the people to and um, when I see that uh, people perhaps react on a on a as a bass line I go for that and when, I, when they re react on a nice melody that I put in uh, I might go for that uh, when I use a vocal sample, I want to say something. And when I use a vocal sample, I don't take it from well, just some record to have some vocals in, but uh, I invite people like my label boss, Mr. Mark Reader over there, to talk something to the microphone. Uh, words that I wrote before, so uh, that there's a meaning to it. Berlin I, uh, I enjoy very much because it, it really gives uh, some kind of um, freedom to develop things. Like for example the music that's, that's, be, that's been made now uh, by me and uh, the people that I work with uh, it really took some time to develop and uh, Berlin's the kind of place that gives you the time and the space to bring something to a point. I'd really like to be able to come to this point of appealing to everybody because uh, you know, if you can move the young, but also uh, have some kind of intention behind it. I mean, for me, this is all what the, uh, the trans thing is, is about, is really to bring somebody to some point. And then, of course, you have the opportunity of um, giving some message. And uh, this can be very positive. You know?
know, you can really give people some kind of positive message and uh, people can leave a club feeling good. Uh, this for me is like, is quite important. It has to be played in clubs, it is club music and so therefore it has to be played in clubs for the people. The dancing, I mean, the days of like coming to watch people playing guitar, for me at least, are over. Apparently when they arrested Jeffrey Dammer, the Milwaukee massacre man, um, he, uh, he was listening to the last album that I uh, recorded with uh, Clock DVA, so I guess the music had some kind of effect on, on someone. He didn't actually comment on whether it was going to uh, No, but he said he was looking forward to the next album, I believe. very small amount of clubs where you walk in and you go, wow, I love this place. And Evoke is one of them. It's like a sound factory in New York. You've got Hacienda in Manchester and Evoke is one of them. It's, you know, I just walked in the place for the first time. That was just before the, 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 the Loft Parade and there was 2,000 kids going, yeah, to every single track. And I went, fuck, yes, yes, yes. this is heaven. I want to die here, you know. Very uh, high ceiling. Just the, the strobes in different colours and, and, and the whole look of the club is, is heaven for me. You know, this I like big factories, I like big things like this and Heverk like like Sound Factory, like Hacienda, big big clubs with you know loads of space and there's no space to sit down, you just gotta go there and go, yes, dance all night. I love that. what I do and I really enjoy too when the people make me feel that they like my music because it's it's a part of me too you know when the people dance and screaming on my music so I feel really happy <laughs>
all his three vans with the uh, hi-fi system and that was it, yeah. So and the next year later it was uh, 2,000, one year later it was uh, 6,000 and 10,000 and this year we have had uh, four, no, how many? 40 trucks, massive big trucks with 30,000 people. It's on the main street, yeah. On the main street. Cool for some love, yeah. People like really uh, asking half a year before it's going on. Do you do it again? Do you really do it again? With the love parade happening this year? And we say, yeah, of course. It basically starts uh, Friday with uh, parties before and then um, on Saturday it starts around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it starts a love parade and then we have some after parties and it goes to, to Tuesday I think the party on there. Excellent, because we have holiday and then they have time. It's, it's nice because it's warm. Excellent atmosphere. I love it, love it, love it. It's great, it's something that you, you never seen anywhere before. Can you imagine 50 trucks with 40,000 people, 40,000 ravers in the street, going mental, dancing, and you're in Berlin, so people in Berlin accept a lot of things, so you know, they're just watching, waving, even old people waving at us, and it's unbelievable. Everybody's there dancing, kissing, it's cool, it's sunny. You gotta experience it to believe it. Life is very stressy and very tiring. You can go to a club at, a, at, the, at the weekend and, and you, don't, you don't just release energy, you gain something from it, you know, you, it's, like, it's almost like aerobics or something. You gain something from it and it also relaxes you. I think it, you don't become like pent up. People go home feeling elated. The kind of communal thing as well, it's like lifts everybody up. And it's, it's a feeling of euphoria. I mean, rather than maybe called trance music, trance music should have been called euphoria. Yeah. So, Mark, what do you think is the future of trance music? Well, I think uh, the sky's the limit, to be honest. 